Yesterday I stumbled upon a video of a guy doing an epic cookout in the forest. He cooked up this really big steak on a rock that he heated up in a campfire. I thought to myself, how cool is that? I love cooking, I love steak. Why not try and turn tonight's dinner into an adventure? It's actually a special occasion because last week it was Kim's 35th birthday, but because we had such a busy schedule, we didn't get to celebrate it properly. She never really asks for anything for her birthday and she is the kindest person you can imagine. So I really want to make this special for her. I am super excited about this. <laughs> Let's go look for some big, juicy sticks. All right, it seems I have a bunch of tomahawks here. They look really good. I think I'm gonna take the biggest one I can find. So right now we're gonna drive into the jungle of Campeche. And the reason we're actually going there is because a few years ago when we were first about to visit Mexico, I found these really, really cool Mayan ruins that are located in this remote stretch of jungle. But on the first two visits that we made to Mexico, we never got there because we didn't have our own set of wheels and it's very remote. Now we're gonna drive deep into the jungle, park up near the ruins, we're gonna have a nice cookout. I think it is going to be amazing and just so magical. What the heck guys, look at this. Maybe we don't even have to heat up the rock because it's cooking in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the entrance to the Kalak Mul National Park. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled because this is a wildlife reserve. There's lots of monkeys, and eaters, also stuff like jaguars. How cool would that be? There's this really colorful, exotic looking peacock. Two of them actually. I think they just look like fancy turkeys. <laughs> Definitely heading deep into the jungle here. It's gonna be a tight fit. That can't be good. Buenas tardes. Tenemos una pregunta. Busquemos el camping. Está aquí. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Gracias. Gracias. ¿Quieren tienda o? Vamos a dormir en el coche. En el coche. Sí, sí. Ah, o sea, nomás quieren un lugar para Sí, sí, para parquear, sí. Guys, I can't even begin to tell you how many times knowing a little bit of Spanish has saved our butts here in Mexico. People ask us all the time, how do you even know how to speak Spanish? And it's really simple. You can just learn a new language by watching TV shows, and that is exactly how LingoPie, the sponsor of today's video, works. Now you're probably thinking, I do not have time to learn a new language. That sounds difficult and quite boring, but it does not have to be. We learn most languages from the comfort of our own couch while just watching TV shows and movies in the new language, but with English subtitles. So that your brain kind of automatically picks up on the new language you're learning. And that's exactly how LingoPie works. Just imagine the next time you go to Mexico, you can actually talk to people, negotiate, and don't have to pay the tourist price because you speak Spanish. LingoPie launched an extension on Netflix so people can learn Spanish while watching some of the best Netflix shows with LingoPie's language learning features. Because let's face it, you're watching Netflix anyway. We all do it. LingoPie has thousands of hours of TV shows, movies, and documentaries available, and they're adding new content every single month. Every show comes with two sets of subtitles, one in English, one in Spanish, and if you don't understand a certain word, you just click on it, and it magically shows you the translation. LingoPie is offering our viewers a free seven-day trial, so there's literally no risk in trying it out. And when you want to continue, because you're gonna want to continue, they're pretty awesome. They're giving you a 55% discount, so you only pay $65 for an entire year with unlimited access so click the link in the description box below or scan this QR code and get started learning a new language with LingoPie today. I'm gonna get out. I'm Jaguar bait right now, but I don't see anything. I have to hold this. <laughs> so we parked up here. Look at this, we're surrounded by jungle on all sides. How cool is this? Gonna do a little bit of prep. Gonna make some homemade steak butter. Gonna take a pack of butter, which is about 250 grams, 200 grams. I really like the Kerrygold brand, grass-fed butter. I think it's the best one. If you're not in 100 degree weather, leave this out of the fridge for a while. If you're in 100 degree weather, you can just, it'll melt by itself. Gonna peel a few cloves of garlic. Squeeze these cloves of garlic in there. Add some soy sauce. Bunch of pepper. Some Italian spice mix, cumin. I'm gonna cut up one dry chili. Add some heat to it. Oh man, this already smells so good. And I'm just gonna mash this up with a fork a bit. Gonna add in some onion powder. Almost dropped it. 
I'm actually a little bit nervous to cook up steak on a hot rock. You guys always ask me like, how do you learn how to cook? Are you a chef? Are you a professional chef? Well, I'm not. I'm just a hobby chef at home. The thing with the rock, I've never done it. it makes me a little bit nervous and it's like a really nice piece of meat. So yeah. Okay, now it's time for my mom's secret garlic sauce recipe. She always told me like, if you ever share this with someone, I'll find you and I will. Gonna start cooking up the steak after we get back from our quick visit to the Kalak Mool Ruins. One of the reasons why Kalak Mool is actually so cool, of course it has the jungle setting, but also they're some of the only Mayan ruins in Mexico that you're actually allowed to climb. I am super, super excited about this. We're really deep, deep, deep in the jungle now and there's almost no one else here, so. This is really cool. Wow, look at this. Look uh -huh. how high it goes. <laughs> this must be at least 20 nights high. What a structure. This used to be the capital of a big part of the Mayan Empire. Wow, <laughs> look at this. In this particular city, there were 55,000 people wow, living okay. here. I think we found the big one. It's massive. Best part is, you can actually climb these pyramids. It's getting really steep here as well. Look at this. Come on, Kim, you can do it. It's just a few more steps. The fear of heights is kicking in. Don't do think. Not look down. Don't think about it. Just keep going. Bam. Now look around. <sighs> Holy moly! Wow. What an amazing view all across the jungle. You can see some structures popping up. Ah, surprisingly, more stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go all the way to the top? Come on, Kim. We can do this. Last set. After all these times that you wanted to come here, now we're finally here. It feels all the better. What an adventure. Crazy. We're just sitting on top of a really nice part of history from the year six and seven hundred. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure this was the penthouse suite. Like with this view, pretty sure this was for like the king or something. All hail King Kim. <laughs> oh, King Kim. <laughs> I'm getting really hungry. It's time to cook up the tomahawk steak. I found the perfect rock to sizzle it on. Kim, that rock. I mean, look, look how small this rock is. Time to start the cooking process. I'm gonna head to the fire pit. The coolest thing is that we're here all on our own. We have this whole campsite to ourselves. Now I guess the next step would be... I'm gonna get a bunch of rocks, but... It needs to be nice and flat to put something on though. Kim says she found a candidate. Tell me a great rock picker. Is it not? Oh, the spider! That's There's a big spider protein. underneath there! Now it's an arrow of anger there! <laughs> See that web? There's a oh, spider yeah, in yeah. there! Yeah. I think this baby will do just fine. If I mentioned here that I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think if we can get this hot enough, we can cook our big tomahawk steak on this. Let's see if we can clean this baby up a little bit. I really had to search for uh, this kind of steak, a really big tomahawk steak, because here in Mexico, it's not easy to find. It's even decent steak, like the quality of the beef is just lower quality, I don't know. I found this one at Walmart. Boy, does this look good. It's Mexican, comes from Mexican farm. Is this heaven or what? What a dream. I did some research and they said you should put some, oh, some olive oil and pepper and salt on there. Do wonder why, but it's what the experts recommended. Ah, oh, this is hot. All right, here goes nothing.
It doesn't really sizzle though. So I hope it will be hot enough. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see what happens. Found a little birthday gift for you. It's better not being our spider neck. There, 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 there he is. I think that's a howler monkey. Yeah, I think it is. There's two, there's two. You see little baby? Yeah. I see it. Oh, he's climbing. Oh, he's adorable. He's adorable. I can see his little face. <laughs> Kim, you know that's not the monkey's face, right? <laughs> Pretty short. Oh, jingle yeah. balls, jingle balls. You know what time it is? We bought this mega bag of ice. Here's your pina colada. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I think the coconut thingy I used wasn't really suitable for this application. It looks adventurous. It, it's definitely an adventure. And it tastes good. It's good. Oh, I love this so, so, so much. I can't believe the monkeys are They're right here. They don't. They didn't come for the steak. Or the steak? Oh. No, but I'm serious. Do they eat? So I'm eating fruit, so they must be vegetarian or vegan. Yes. They didn't come for the cocktail. Oh yeah. If you're wondering where my shirt went, it's just too hot around the fire. Okay. It starts sizzling, so that's good. But the meat isn't really browning on the side. What do you think? I'm gonna think we can put it on the grill for a little bit. Yeah. Put this baby on the grill. Bye, Rock. It would have been cool if you could have done it just on the rock, like grill it completely, have it nice and sizzling, and then come out crispy and brown on the outside. But yeah, maybe I, I should have taken like a flatter rock or a different kind of rock. Okay, we also need a little bit of veggies with this. And since we're in Mexico, I thought, well, it's very typical Mexican. Two big pieces of cactus. She took off all the spikes because those are dots you see here. It's nicer to eat without the spikes, you know? Otherwise you're like, ow, ow. You season these with a little bit of olive oil. Barbecue spices. For those of you thinking, this is ridiculous. Who eats cactus? It's actually a very popular food here in Mexico. People eat it all the time. You can even have tacos with cactus and they eat it on grills and everything. So, steak look, looks nicely grilled up. It actually took only like a minute or two. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap him up in a little blankie. Leave him to rest for 10-15 minutes and then we should be good to go. The jungle is whooping our asses over here. We just realized we don't have an actual box screen. So I tried to piece something together here. I used magnets and then lots of scotch tape. It's not even holding the bugs out. What the heck is that? A moth. This is the worst anti-box system known to man. Sir, could you please evacuate the premises? I used to watch MacGyver a lot when I was a kid. You just want to eat some steak? Ah, it's attacking me! Ah! <laughs> It shows violence. As you all know, the proof is in the eating of the pudding. It definitely looks really, really good. Personally, I prefer it a little bit more red than this, but I think this is definitely good for a first time trying to cook on a rock. Steak butter on the steak. My mom's secret garlic sauce recipe. See? Wow, this looks amazing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> oh! 
That's amazing. Yeah. The smokiness on the on the meat. That's mm. epic. So actually, the rock sizzle thingy worked better than we expected. It just didn't brown it, but otherwise, yeah. it was actually pretty good because it was only on the fire for like three, four minutes. Rock tastes good. <laughs> if it's grilled on a rock, it tastes good. Grilled cactus. <laughs> The inside is kind of like almost a bit slimy. But okay, this okay. stuff, seriously, what an adventure is this? In the jungle, steak sizzling on a rock, seeing the monkeys and the ruins, and I just best birthday I could ask for.